know who your ancestor was 185 million generations ago? He was fish. There are thousands of different cultures around the world, each one with its own beautiful, fascinating, unique expression of what it means to be human. All peoples have their own origin myths to account for where they came from. Most origin myths have one thing in common that their god made first human. In the origin myth of the Tasmanian Aboriginal people, it is said that the gods Moini and Dromedina created humans. The Hebrew tribes of the Middle East had only a single god. He made the first man out of dust and called him Adam. The Norse peoples of Scandinavia, famous as Viking seafarers, had lots of gods. The name of their chief god was Odin. Odin and his brothers made the first man, whom they called Bask, and the first woman, naming her Hembla. This means there were many first humans around world. Wow! Who was the first human really? Here is a photo stack of one person and his ancestors. The first page has him, the second has his father, and then his father's father. After that, there are the father of his grandfather, the father of his grandfather's father. It goes back to his great-great-great-grandfather, 185 million generations ago. Of course, most of the grandfather's photos do not exist, and this is a thought experiment. Now let's take a look at this photo stack together. 1,000 generations ago, that's 20,000 years back, we can see a human. 10,000 generations ago, that's 200,000 years back, still human, but not like we'd recognize. 75,000 generations ago, that's a million and a half years back, not a human. That's Homo erectus. Let's go back to a million and a half generations ago, that's 25 million years back. This ancestor looks more like today's old world monkeys, but still a primate. 15 million generations ago, that's 75 million years back, this ancestor looks more like a tree rodent than a monkey. Let's jump all the way back to his 120 millionth great-grandparent, that's 160 million years back. This is a decidedly non-human, non-primate shrew-like mammal, but kinda cute. His 165 millionth great-grandparent is not even a mammal, it's a prehistoric lizard that predates even the dinosaurs. Here we are 185 million generations ago, that's 375 million years back. That's our ancestral fish. Our ancestors are fish? How can this be? So where along the stack was the first human? That one? That's Homo erectus. There's no single point where one became the other. Every photo that we pull from this stack looks pretty much like the photo on either side. Every generation is the same species as its parents and the same species as its children. Homo erectus had Homo erectus parents and Homo erectus kids. Our fishy ancestor had fishy fathers and fishy children. You can never pinpoint the exact moment that a species came to be because it never did. This may surprise you, but there never was a first person. Because every person had to have parents, and those parents had to be <coughs> And those parents had to be people too. Same with rabbits. There never was a first rabbit, never was a first crocodile, never a first dragonfly. Actually, it isn't all that difficult to understand. We are quite used to gradual changes that, step by tiny step, one after the other, make up a big change. You were once a baby. Now you are older. But there was no single day when you went to bed young and woke up old, although sometimes it feels that way. Evolution was all very gradual. So gradual that you wouldn't notice any change. As you walk back a thousand years, this is really a key to truly understanding how evolution works. Your life is what happens in between the snapshots. This video was inspired by Richard Dawkins' book The Magic of Reality, and there is a link down in the description.